Very well, ladies and gentlemen. So we begin our episode with uh, again another report from Gabriel Jesus. Well, it looks like as I already mentioned, he's uh, undergone successful surgery in Brazil. So we had that update regarding that. Uh, Mark Man Brian says it's too early to, to put a defi definitive time frame on his recovery. So, so here's the reality. Gold Brazil say that. Uh, Gabriel Jesus suffered a lesion in his meniscus and collateral ligament of the right knee. There was no break or rupture. Jesus should be out for around three months. However, his return will depend on his recovery after surgery. So, yes. Yeah, he also mentioned it on Instagram that I will be back stronger. Well, more importantly, Granit Xhaka is back. But first, let's talk about uh, Brazilian Ronaldo's message for Gabriel Jesus. Well, yes, Ronaldo Nazario had a big message for uh, Gabriel Jesus and he posted this on Instagram. Yes, you'd love to see with this image. He posted the message. If you can pause and read this, it's a fantastic message. Unbelievable message. You would love to see that. Uh, criticism can either be constructive or destructive in one's life. Words have the power to lift up and tear down. Uh, sometimes the ones that boost one discourage another. Let your self-image uh, not be based on what others say. May you never forget where you came from. So get well soon. Crackhead is what the message is from Ronaldo Nazario for Gabriel Jesus, man. I love him. I love him. I love my boy Gabriel Jesus. And yes, Ronaldo Nazario. Interesting. Interesting things to see. But more importantly, let's talk about more stuff we've got regarding more signings that Arsenal are looking at at the moment. First, Gabriel G, uh, sorry, Granit Xhaka is rejoining Arsenal uh, immediately after the uh, Switzerland's heartbreak from the World Cup. He says, the Premier League is waiting and of course, I want to be, wanted to be uh, here longer than this. But we lost the game today and I'm happy to go back now with the team. I have something to achieve there. Of course, em emotionally it is not easy, but this is part of our business. I know the team is in Dubai at the moment. I'm flying to Dubai, going back to the team and going back to training and trying to forget the tournament now. Talking about Gabriel Jesus' injury, uh, Grand Jaka said, I spoke with him straight after the Cameroon game. We have contact with each other. Uh, with all the players we have here in the World Cup, it's a shame because you saw in the first round of Premier League how important he is for us. I don't know how big the injury is, maybe two or three months. I think, but he's a strong guy. It's a small injury for him, I think, and we will support him. He knows that we are behind him and hopefully we can get him back as quick as possible. Well, of course, he should be back as quick as possible, man. No way are we, are we, are we moving on with Gabby without Gabby, definitely, definitely from Arsenal. So, 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 what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Arsenal talking about more signings, and one of the midfielders that they're looking at is none other than you know who. So, as per George Nicola, he says that Monaco told Palmeiras that they will bid 22 million for Danilo. Palmeiras want 25 million euros. Player also knows he will get other offers, and that Arsenal will make one for him as well. So, yes. Arsenal gearing up for the January transfer window for an ultimate midfielder. But let's talk about... Before talking about uh, that, we're, we're going to talk about... Oh, Zhao Felish, yes. So Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United have been put on red alert over Zhao Felish. Standard Sport understand that Atletico Madrid have placed an £86 million, £86 million price tag on the player. Most suitors for Felish would likely prefer an initial loan move with an option to buy, but could be charged a sizable loan fee. Premier League leaders Arsenal could look at the uh, former Porto, Porto youth star as a potential replacement for Gabriel Jesus. This is what Nizar Kinsella has to say. Now, he's very reliable. So, Arsenal in the midst to sign J J Jao Felish. Would you want Jao Felish to come to Arsenal? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, because yes, it is going to be tough. It is going to be tough. But more importantly, what do we have? Joe Graham Bailey has an update regarding Arsenal's forward options. Well, he says, I am told that Arsenal still hold out some hope that Jesus' rehab will go well and that he could return by the end of February. That is not certain yet, but there is some hope at this stage. Arsenal's plans for the new year have already been decided and uh, Arteta fancies at least one midfielder and also a forward, primarily a wide man. So, Mukhail Mudrik is on put is actually on high alert so charles watt says 
Arteta trusts and Ketia and that's why he's worked so hard to keep him in the summer. And neither he or Edu will bring someone in if they do not believe it is the for the best long term. Mudrik on radar for some time. Club looking at Danilo and Tielemans. Ah, well, well, well. Well, according to uh, uh, UOL Esporte, Arsenal forward Gabriel Martinelli clocked the highest speed of all players in the Brazil uh, in uh, in the Brazil World Cup squad at 34.9 kilometers per hour. So he was the quickest, wasn't he? Well, of course he was. But former Chelsea midfielder Ramirez speaks about Gabriel Martinelli. He says Martinelli is a terrific player. He's been absolutely tremendous for Arsenal this season. And it's great to see our young Brazilian coming through. It's inevitable that huge clubs like Madrid and Juventus will come knocking on the door. But moving on, let's talk about Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Well, according to Sport Media Set, there's a rumor that Arsenal will try to take advantage of UA's troubles and sign Vlahovic and also financially beat them to sign Milinkovic Savic. So, Vlahovic, Milinkovic Savic, Jao Felix, my god, this video is really turning out to be a fantastic one because. Oof. I mean, at one stage, we're talking about 86 million pounds for Jao Felix. That's one. Sergei Milinkovic Savic. We're talking about Mikhail Madrid, a wide forward if Arsenal are interested in. Jude Bellingham is in the midst. Jao Felix out of nowhere. And of course, Danilo from Palmeiras. So Arsenal linked with at least five players and the, tro and the transfer window has not even begun. Wow. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Moving on, so uh, Niklas Bentner says Wenger used an example of Ashley Cole, another player who used to hate each other at Arsenal, but since they were so professional, they did not appear so to the outside world. Wenger used this to advise Bentner on how to behave. Talking about Adebayor, Bentner said, most people have, uh, have me uh, someone where you just don't like their energy and their way of being. That's how I felt with him. I'm not good with people who only want themselves and only like themselves and that's how he was. Uh, Kolo Toure says Arsene Wenger told him he would be a manager one day and plans to draw on man management traits from the former boss and others. Well, talking about Jude Bellingham, Arsenal along with Chelsea and Real Madrid have become underdogs in the race to sign Jude Bellingham. Liverpool and City are favourites as of now. So let's see where things will turn out. It's really getting interesting and I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it. Takehiro Tomiyasu has arrived in Dubai to join the Arsenal team. And that is the latest update. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo update from David Seaman. Talking about Cristiano, he said, I know I went on PS Morgan show and said I'd have him. Don't think I would now, if I'm honest. Don't know what's happening with his attitude. That's why I don't want to see him at Arsenal. As how many of the club is brilliant. Interesting to see that. Very well. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal corner, the best place to be. Consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Until then. Cheers.